Alright night, welcome back to another video. Now today we're going to actually talk about um why I don't literally review M publicly. And this is going to be something that I'm going to have to talk about because eventually somebody's going to have to actually ask these comments and I'm going to have to address them. So, um, before I get into this, I want to let you guys know on something real quick. Um, what I do on both platforms, Twitter and YouTube, is completely different. I am very, very, very critical and very, at least, professional on how I literally talk about hip-hop as a whole on here versus how I do things on Twitter. I am going to be 100% honest. If I call you out, I'm going to either be very nice to you or I'm going to literally berate you because it just shows that this, and this is only going to go to Stan specifically because I'm going to be 100% honest. Some of these artists Stan specifically, especially anybody who is a stan of a certain rap artist, they tend to have their low tier of toxicity. And it tends to happen a lot. Now, I will say this, it depends on who you talk to. Um, Kanye fans, uh, they have their fair share of toxicity. Wayne, fan, Wayne stands, they're chill. And some particular Eminem stands and... Sometimes Kendrick stands have their fair share of um, issues too in their toxicity. So they have to share it on in this community too. So I can't blame them for acting like that. But they do have their fair share of faults as well. So I will say this. When it comes to this, I think people need to understand why I don't literally review M publicly. is because of the fact that one, album reviews are so heavily inaccurate in this day and age. And I think a lot of people need to understand why I say this. It's because so many critics on the space from both Twitter and Instagram, they have a hard time understanding the critical basis of artists because one, they can't seem to separate them and then treat them equally. Which, in this instance, I'm just saying, in this instance, equality does not fucking work. Why? Let's see. One talent is over the other, and there's high levels to how their craft is made. For example, Lupe, unfortunately for this regard, is a high talent. But in this regard, he is considered one of the few people that has a few things to work on and hasn't broke his barrier yet. In order for them to literally evolve over time, they have to make albums, at least five albums, to figure out where they come from. Will they break their own barrier of their own craft, or will they basically have a hard time and only limit themselves to where they are today? Now, I have said this time and time again, no matter what the consequences are, you guys have to realize that making it equal is not the same. And when you do that, it becomes a fucking problem. So, of course, when critics do this shit, it's very, very disingenuous. When they don't know the level of craft and, most importantly, the creativity above the fucking artists themselves, that's where it becomes an issue, and they have no reason to fucking critique the album. Now, if they have an opinion on it, then that's fine. But, people are allowed to also disagree with your opinion, too. Same with me. They're allowed to disagree. My problem is that you guys do this where you guys literally think that your criticism is constructive criticism, and it's not. <laughs> because if it was constructive criticism, would you know the difference between on how high of a level an artist is versus how low of a level they are? If that was the case, you guys would have had a completely different, like, spectrum on how things are like some of you literally put a 10 out of 10 which is just your opinion but then you have some of them that literally put a 7 out of 10 which makes zero sense because i'm like do you guys not know how this works like it's strange to me how in the world i have to sit here and tell y'all like the levels are completely different in this now of course this is not the only reason why um eminem is not going to be reviewed publicly it's because Eminem is a fucking taboo in hip-hop, which sucks because you would think that any stan would literally, like, 
realize this, but the majority of stands refuse to put M as a high talent over their own artists. And it sucks because, hell, I'm I'm going to be 100% honest and I'm going to be real with you. I'm a 50 Cent fan. 100%. I'm a 50 Cent fan. But even I can acknowledge the fact that there's a higher talent than fucking 50 Cent. Like, it, it sucks because, again, I'll say this one last time. If you're going to sit here and tell me that you don't know the difference between how an artist is on a level of rap versus how they do things as an artist, that should be separate entirely. Because if you can't tell the difference between them both, then you cannot literally give constructive criticism if equality is your MO. That's just me, though. That's just me, though. Now, again, the tabooness of this is that, specifically, certain fans try their best to cope their way through the internet and literally dismiss anything, anything that is talked about when it comes to a particular artist. Because in hindsight, they're either just hating or they really just are completely in their own world where they lost the ounce of fucking reality. They've lost it. I'll give you a prime example. This whole fucking Kendrick situation is one of the few reasons why I said this before. Why, one, while somebody literally shoots themselves in their own foot, they don't even realize the ounce and audacity of everything on hip-hop. So I made this tweet the other day, and I find it weird how so many people or at least a good amount of fucking people kind of figured out what I was doing, but also at the same time, there's so many of them that have no fucking clue how this shit works. Like for a prime example, this idiot right here is one of the few bots that I ran into on, when it comes to the Drake stand poll, and I find it interesting how they literally, <laughs> they do their best to literally say that, oh, Drake, you really think that Drake is doing this shit for money? Brother, I'll say this once. If this wasn't a cash grab, this man would have never fucking got involved in this period. He could have ignored everything that has happened with Kendrick all these years. Because he had all the money and stuff, right? And by the way, just to make this clear. It's funny to me how in the world you guys are coping this hard and not realizing that, <laughs> like, the last of y'all are on Twitter literally taking the biggest L. <laughs> and it shows, because, first of all, you make a tweet saying, Drake created Kendrick. And it just shows how many people are literally trying to, like, bring everybody into this world. And it shows, because it's like, what can you do in this situation? You make by far one of the most absolute egregious tweets and then literally not admit defeat because again at the end of the day you guys just can't admit defeat that's what happened when you guys literally couldn't admit defeat the fucking push a t it just shows like the problem is with drake fans is that they're the to most toxic people on hip-hop twitter and hip-hop instagram because it just shows how much you guys have a fucking problem with the fucking world because you guys have shown how fucking toxic you guys are only y'all not just kanye fans but you guys do it just shows because why in the world are you trying to defend a man that has done this shit for years and also again i'll say this once your hip-hop knowledge is showing you don't know what the fuck you're talking about like i i tell y'all the amount of toxicity Especially the Drake fans. If you tell a specific Drake fan about Eminem, chances are it's a taboo to them. It's a fucking taboo to them. Because it's strange to me how they literally talk about the fact of his skin, but won't talk about the fact that Drake's skin is in this same complexity. Again, that skin argument is fucking weak. The music argument is fucking weak. What else you fucking got? Again, you guys are fucking coping. And it just shows that, again, Drake fans specifically like to make this a taboo. It's same with Kanye, same with fucking Wayne fans. These guys make a taboo where they don't fucking talk about Eminem. Why? Because they realize the fact that, one, they can't admit that their 
favorite artist has their flaws. It's just the way it is. So, of course, when somebody like me confronts them on it, they're going to literally make these fucking responses. Like, I remember having this fucking argument about Lauren Hill. Um, between Lauren Hill and Cardi B. And I find it interesting how they make similarities to them. And when they make these similarities, they immediately walk away. Walk away from the fact that they literally not only dogpile people for the sake of it. And not realize the fact that, one, that maybe their lives are the same. But the way they approach music is not the same. They fail to understand this entirely. And this goes for fucking Cardi B fans. Because I never understand how you guys literally screw this up on your own accord. You guys don't know that the way they approach music and the way they literally make music, their sound, everything across the fucking board is completely fucking different. Anyways, so I'm going to say this once. I'm going to say this again. That whole situation between that whole Lauren Hill stuff and all that, completely different situation so nevertheless um that's pretty much all i gotta say about this because one thing for sure is that this is only showing how far you guys have gone as like stands and how much you have tabooed eminem to a certain degree and it's just it just goes to show you because again the internet refuses to change their narrative on things on equality of artists because they realize that not every single fucking artist is going to be fucking equal and it's not based on skin and it's not based on anything else it's based on fucking talent and you guys have to realize that and regardless of how their production is i've said this time and time again regardless of how their production is you also have to realize like you guys have to focus on the definition of rap as a whole because if you guys can't even focus on that then you guys can't even have this conversation but no I said this time and time again, you can have your opinions, but don't sit there and literally expect people to agree with you and don't expect me to fucking agree with you because in hindsight, it's a disagreeable thing, but also at the same time, brother, nine times out of 10, I'm going to ignore what the fuck you're saying, but also 10 times out of 10, if you make it a fact, I'm going to call you out on it on Twitter, at least here. I'm not going to do that because at the end of the day, you guys are going to just expose yourselves at the end of the day. That's just how it is. So. Whether you like it or not, it is what it is. So, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys did, make sure to leave a like. Also, hit that subscribe button if you want to the channel. It's been Zed, guys. Later.